<laughs> joining the interview. Just sit down at least. Uh, yeah, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Steve Bird, Lineal Boxing TV. I don't know who to introduce first, the dog or yeah. <laughs> But could you just kindly introduce yourself to the camera? Yeah, I'm Harry Webb. The Hunter? The Hunter. The Hunter Harry Webb. Firstly, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, you're not fighting on this show? No. You're back out on the 24th of... Uh, 25th, sorry. 25th, 25th of May. Beg your pardon, of yeah. May. 25th of May, yeah. Uh, West Supermare. Um, yeah, it would have, would have been ideal to get out on this show, swimming back in, back in front of the swimming crowd again. Obviously, I'm, I'm training here and so. stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, the last fight, <coughs> I won on points, but... The last round I had a head, head clash, just spit my nose open. Just broke it? it? Luckily it didn't break, it was a bit swollen that, but it was a, it was a bad split, so yeah. they um, had to put a few stitches in it. Um, so we've just kind of been letting that heal, obviously. Yeah. Back, back to sparring this week. So obviously it was just kind of too fine enough yeah, yeah. to make it this show because of that. I had to make sure it was recovered. And yeah. Now we're going again for May 25th, so we're about five weeks away now. Um, yeah. How many fights you had? Uh, six fights now. Six fights, yeah. 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 Enjoying your journey so far? Still young, 22, is that right? 22, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Plenty of time. Um, still learning every day. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, so how did you get involved in boxing, Harry? I was always football. Um, from a very young age, like most. Yeah. Always in the garden, playing football, then I got into a team and stuff. And, um, yeah, I was, I was playing with a team and then, um, I don't know, it was just something about it. I was frustrated if we didn't win and that and I, yeah. I always I always wanted to do boxing anyway I, I always used to watch on the TV with my dad uh, you know the Chris Eubank Nigel Benfart I watched back yeah, with him yeah. on the tapes because he, he he always used to go and he was a massive boxing fan and you know when I was doing my football I'd be like you know why can I do boxing but yeah. they never let me never let me know. I got to about nine ten years old and they eventually let me go down to a gym uh, Took me down to Limpstone where I'd done my amateur career really yeah. and um, yeah, loved it. Um, felt just natural, you know. Um, the um, people liked me down there, they said, yeah, you come back and just went from there really. And I boxing took over, I left the football and ever since. A lot of people do sort of like when they switch because they love that selfishness about it. They get yeah. so frustrated when people yeah. let them down, don't they? It's, <laughs> it's all on you in the boxing ring, isn't it? it? So. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that's what it was really. Um, but yeah, no, like since, like I said, since, since boxing came in, that was it. Um, still going to this day, obviously. No, um, yeah, li literally just finished football and boxing since the age of nine now, so yeah. What was your amateur career? I had around 30 uh, something fights. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd, um, never, never really suited the amateur style, yeah. I thought. Um, you know, it's kind of in and out, quick, quick, quick yeah. short rounds, short minutes. Um, I definitely suit suit the pro style more, yeah. um, and that's why I think me and Paddy click so well, is because he, he kind of understood that, and yeah. uh, he, he could see my style. And it wasn't not, you know, I've come on leaps and bounds since being with Paddy, but um, it's just it, obviously I, I have changed and improved. It's kind of polishing things and and just correcting little things, little you tweaks, know, and yeah, yeah. Um, but still. Still being myself, you know, I think, I think you look at everyone in the gym, as Ryan to Luke to Sniper, you bet Bradley, um, but Jensen coming in now, all different styles, all different abilities, and it's nice that me, Ryan, Bradley, and Jensen are around the same weight. Um, it's great sparring, and yeah. um, I think that's something Paddy does so well with, is just individually knows someone you know um, and what you can adapt to each what's yeah. best for you exactly and like i say when you've got people all the similar weight and you're so yeah. competitive you, you improve yourselves all the time it's yeah definitely that's it you know um it's, it's lucky lucky to have it you know m most most gyms you know always have to keep going just yeah. gyms are sparring and that you know we do that too but it's nice just to be right around the corner and everyone's here and you've got different bits of sparring and yeah yeah, yeah. So how did you and Paddy link up? Because you said you're originally from Exeter, is that right? Yeah, um, Exeter. Yeah, that, so <clears throat> I just kind of got to a point I needed to change, and um, you know, I, I turned seventeen. I started driving, and well, it, it all started with uh, me coming up here, and um, Luke actually was yeah. um, training me one to one uh, Saturday mornings and stuff. Uh, Paddy was always here and 
kept, kept an eye on it. But Luke Watkins, yeah, yeah, oh, well, he, that's he, good, he, yeah. yeah, he used to do a bit of one to one, and um, so that's where it all started, really. And um, you know, I loved it. Um, everyone here was just welcoming and yeah. um, learning different things and stuff. And then pa Paddy was there, and we, we just sat down and said, um, "Yeah, we want to make a go of this. Obviously, you need to come up more and." The, you know, the one day a week wasn't good enough. So um, yeah, I started driving. And I was like, yeah, let's 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 go, and started jumping B and Bs and training morning and night, and um, just developed from there really. And now we're up most of the week and turned pro, and yeah, made it your life. Yeah, that's a, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. So talking about your life, what kind of stuff do you enjoy? I'm sorry to bring this up, but you told me before you're a big Man United fan. I am. Yeah. Not probably the best time to talk to you about football now. <laughs> no, not really. What's going on there? Something's not right. Uh, obviously, I'll look, don't get too I'll, angry. Cause yeah, I'll no. <laughs> I don't know really. Um, it's a de development going on. I think you know, that it's a few injuries and whatnot, and a new manager only coming in. It started brilliantly, but I, I think people are expecting a bit too much. Yeah. You know, you obviously started brilliantly, but it's it's done always work out to finish like that. You know, there's a man, you know, that's it, and that doing brilliantly at Liverpool and. Um, yeah, it's got to be a bit of a hard pill to take as we, well. Seeing them. We had too many wobbles, yeah. We had too many wobbles, and it's just a bit too. Hopefully, we can grab the top four. Yeah. Um, Arsenal slipped up yesterday, but obviously we didn't win either. It's yeah. Just, we'll see. Hope fingers crossed. But um, I try, I try not to get into it too much. You know, <laughs> get, <laughs> it's not the glory days anymore. Uh, please don't get offended. But why are you a Man United fan when you're from Exeter? Yeah. Pe uh, <laughs> I don't know really. Dad, dad was always Man United. Um, I obviously just grew up watching. Like I say, I used to watch boxing. I'd watch football with him, and it yeah. was just always Man United. Um, I think you had the likes of um, you know Roy Keane, David Beckham, and all this. You uh, you need a Roy Keane back there, don't you? Yeah, we need someone. You need a, yeah, a Roy Keane or yeah. someone that takes no nonsense. Yeah. I used to really dislike Gary Neville mm. playing football. I used to intensely dislike him. I love listening to that guy now. Yeah. Talk so much sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got players. This is why I love boxers because mm. you guys, you're putting so much effort into that ring. And boxers, they're just pre. They are pre. I'm a Palace fan. Yeah. And you can't. You could never sit down with a, no. a footballer like this. Really, it's no. all go for my agent. Go this. Yeah. yeah boxers yeah. are so honest, and footballers. You need that element of the boxing in there, don't you? That yeah. bit of humbleness and. Yeah. Because it seems like Man United at the moment. They're winning all those games mm. when they don't have a manager to prove a point. Yeah. As soon as they get it. Yeah, yeah. You see some of the people not tracking True. back and. Well, that's it. You know, I, I, I watched the Barcelona game and um, obviously Barcelona. Yeah, they don't number one. Yeah, yeah. it's um, it was expecting someone to beat them. I didn't expect us to beat us, but even just watching the game, I I think that's what the players had in their head. You know, yeah. they weren't expecting to win and they didn't. Right, but obviously when they're on that pitch, they pull that shirt and they they, they should be expecting. To win. Of course, they should be their win. everything and. You know, they, they weren't tracking back. They're just kind of just going along with the flow, and there was, there was no hunger there. I yeah. thought no drive. Like you say, it was someone like Roy Keane, he wouldn't stand for that. No. Um, yeah, they def definitely need someone brought in to kind of give them a boost. Kind of just you know someone there to give them a kick up the ass. Really. And that's yeah. it as well. They, they say they're saying um, Oli Solskjaer was apologising, saying I've got to get motivated. If you can't be motivated to play for Man United, yeah, there's, there's something of, seriously wrong, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So either, it's either give it your all, or you're not in the team. Is it? Sorry to bring the interview on such a downer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Crystal Palace fan as well, mate. So they caused me <laughs> no end of grief. Uh, what else do you enjoy? Yeah, just typical. You know, obviously boxing. Um, you know, it's my life, but um, like I say, the football is it's, it's nice just to have a break from yeah. the boxing. You know, I do box and I watch boxing, so it's nice to have the football. I... Wait, when you're in camp, are you completely fixated then? Do you not? Yeah, um, yeah, obviously, it's this, this, this strict um, no going out anymore yeah. and that with the friends, you know. Um, you sacrifice a lot, don't you? It's... Yeah, of course. I mean, you, you got this, um, it's, it's no joke when you're in there. It's yeah. just, you, 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 you and one other guy, and you're having a fight. You know, it's, um, it's serious. Um, so you, you know, you got you also, yeah, we're close to the fight. You know, it's, it's just strictly boxing and training, and that's it. Just being a robot, basically. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, of course, after the fight, it's human again. You go out for a drink, uh, enjoy your food, and that, and 
of course you can't you can't stay you can't you can't stay like that constantly. No, no, you uh, need your break, don't you? Yeah, you your... yeah. You married? Girlfriend? No, I'm not married. No, no, I've no. that. <laughs> not yet. We'll see. We'll see. No, I got a girlfriend. Yeah. Very supportive. Yeah. Does she enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. She's always there. Excellent. Uh, uh, screaming at things. Yeah, yeah. She's not one of those. They're should... different. The women, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good, good support and that. Got a good bunch of friends and that. Always make it up and it, it does make it easier. And yeah. That, and they are on their own and it's it's nice. It's nice to have that support there and of course, yeah. You need that as well, you need that trust, don't you? You need people. Yeah. Are you one of these people that get grumpy like towards the closer towards your fight or you're very laid back, aren't you? you yeah, like laid back. Um it, yeah, there's, there's probably moments in there I do get a bit yeah. grumpy and that of course, you know, making if you're making weight and swelling you it is because it, it is all you're doing is you're boxing and you're training, you're sleeping, you're boxing. Sleep repeat. You know, it, and it, it, there's no real enjoyment you know you, you of course you, you enjoy the training and whatnot and, and sometimes it's, it's, it's hard but yeah. if you get what I mean you, when it is close to the fight you can't afford to be going out eating what you That's want right, going yeah. out drinking and um, yeah you, you know you, you got to sacrifice a lot to to get the the benefits you know and make it all count on the night so uh, what else do you enjoy then yeah um, any um, favourite holiday destinations or re recent uh, Turkey? Um, never been to Turkey. Never before. been to Turkey. Um, but that was yeah, was, that was good. That was me and my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, brilliant time. Brilliant uh, weather was perfect. Um, Friendly people there as well. Aren't they? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's kind of my. Um, I would say that is my enjoyment really. You yeah, know, yeah. But after a fight, you know, I'm, I'm always looking where to go next. Yeah, and I, I, I want to. I want to see different places of the world. I'm not one of them who goes to the same place all the yeah, time. Yeah. I, I try and go to different places and see the world. Yeah, I, that's definitely something I would like to do. Um, just see as much of the world as I possibly can. That's one of my goals as well. Where, what's on your bucket list to see? Uh, I've been well, America. I want to. I want to. There's plenty of places in America. Yeah, yeah. massive, of course. I've been my favourite place in America. Yeah, I've, I've been to New York. Um, Pat, Paddy, Pat, Paddy was out there with uh, Eamon O'Kane. Okay. He was fighting uh, to Reno Johnson, I think. Yeah. Madison Square Garden. Did you go? Uh, I did. Paddy was over there and yeah. he, said, he just got the call. Um, he said, you know, I've got, got a spare bed here. Come over. So that Twist was Twist my rubber arm, innit? That's that was it, you know. Um, I just jumped at the chance, you know, New York, of course. And then obviously to have people over there and Eamon at the time fighting at Madison Square Garden, I just... I. I literally booked the flights and the next day we were out there and brilliant, you know, because um, obviously being being of them, I, you know, I was at the weigh-in, press conferences. Uh, you're, you're in the heart of it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, uh, I met Roberto Duran, he, oh, wow. he was there. Um, it was you have to pinch yourself, amazing. don't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, really do, yeah. Um, for me as a boxing fan as well, I'm quite lucky, I sometimes get to press passes, mm. so the same thing, I, I go to these, and if even as a boxing fan and a boxer, yeah. oh it's just immense isn't it? it? Is, it the is. mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, the history just in there. Yeah. Did you uh, go to Gleason's gym? I didn't, no we didn't, I was only out there for a couple of, uh, three, four oh, okay. days. Oh so flying Bridget really. Uh, yeah. yeah, so um, no, I, I was with the boys and um, they were doing what they were doing and Obviously, it was when I got out there. It was so close to the fight, so it wasn't yeah. intense training. You know, it was just kind of taking over a few. Yeah, yeah, minutes just taking over. And, yeah, you know what. You, um, so, um, but no, yeah, I got I got out and made sure I made the most of it out there and saw the saw the sights and that. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was good. Anywhere else in America? That's the only place I've been in America, but um, of course, you know, California and yeah. stuff like that, and it, it, oh, Headline Vegas one day, yeah. Yeah, that's it, the Vegas. Um, yeah, definitely got to get out there for a fight. If yeah. if, if, if not um, if not fighting, definitely watching. Um, yeah. This, yeah, of course, you've know, done Madison Square Garden, like you say, the Mecca of Boxing, but Vegas is something special as well by the looks of it, isn't it? You know? Yeah, it's very good. I've been a couple of times. Yeah. 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 Best place on earth. Yeah, yeah. I don't say that at the time. I've done some stupid <laughs> stuff there. But well, what happens in Vegas? Those <laughs> Vegas. Mate, no. <laughs> Uh, believe, believe me, I'll tell you some stories <laughs> off camera. I googled the ten stupidest things to do in Vegas. I've done seven of them. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, you know, if you want to do that, 
The only thing I haven't done is killed someone and got oh, arrested. We'll leave that one off then. <laughs> no, good play, Sam. Um, yeah. So let's end off. Uh, any sponsors that help you out at all? Or? Yeah, but, um, um, yeah, great support. You know, the, the guy on the shirt here. Um, my dad, um, you know, we've got a family business with removals and stuff. Um, he helps you out as well, yeah? Yeah, you know, every fight he's there. Close bond? So, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, like, me and my dad, closest. I've, I've done yeah. a little bit of amateur boxing. Yeah. It's so important to have someone like that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm oh, very lucky. Um, yeah. You know, I look, I look at some of my friends and other people around me and they haven't got that. Yeah. You know, um, they've got their dad, uh, some, some just have their mum, some haven't got anything, no yeah. support, they don't even come to the fights, you know. Um, yeah, my um, dad is always there uh, every single fight, yeah. you know. Um, you know, mo most of my family is always there, but my dad, without fail, he, you he know, will always be, yeah, he, yeah. he will never miss it, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, unbelievable support. Um, my my other sponsors, you know, I've got um, John, lo local guy from me, um, from the village I'm at. Uh, you know, he once again he's there every time. You know, he helps me out. Uh, I got a family. Uh, Mike Brand, uh, he does uh, ground force, does a lot of um, you know garden, garden, sorting all that stuff out. Yeah, yeah massive projects. And um, yeah, once again, he's been to most of my fights, helped me support it. I got Cohart in London. You know, they they chuck me a bit of money. Yeah. and um, all helps, doesn't it? it? It does all help. You know, it's it. You know, especially for me. Obviously, not being from Swindon, it's it's a lot. It's, it's traveling, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, and it adds stay up, doesn't here, it? Yeah. The food and you know, it, just it your just, washing bill alone, yeah, you just know, washing you know, clothes. Yeah, just. it's um, so it, it yeah, it with, without them, I, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Yeah, um, there's so many people who help me out, you know. I mean, it, it really does not go unnoticed. No, they, they know who they are, and it's yeah. And this is another thing as well, just. Even just trying to sell tickets when you're asking, but this yeah. is your lifeblood, isn't it? People just yeah. sit, you're putting everything into that, and it's just yeah, that's it. You know, there's so much more that goes into it. It's not just a case of you turning up. And no, no, no. Well, without the supporters, without the people buying tickets, wouldn't be wouldn't be doing yeah. wouldn't be doing it. You know. Um, so yeah, it is it is nice to have the close people supporting, and you know that I keep finding more and more. There's there's a few more people coming in each yeah. time in. You know, building that growing. momentum and yeah. starting to watch you think, oh, I like this guy. He's yeah, and that, 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 that's that's the plan, you know. Keep keep building, keep pushing forward, and see see where we can go yeah, with yeah. this, you know. Yeah. What's what's your end game? What what's your pinnacle if you can? Vegas, with you. Yeah. <laughs> can I get your first interview when you head by Vegas? Yeah? Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll chop off that. We won't do the last two things on my list. No, though. no, no. We'll leave that one. <laughs> Maybe you can do a couple of them. But <laughs> yeah, no. Of course, you know, everyone. That, that, that's the dream, you know, is being on the being on the big big events and yeah. that, and going all the way. Um, but there's a lot of people out it. It's um, it's it's one of the hardest sports in the world. You know, we've just got lonely, and then, lonely, selfish. Yeah. Beautiful sport. Yeah, yeah. So it's. it's Funny one to describe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's like a drug, isn't it? Unless you, you people. Because I've done a little, I was never a good boxer, but mm. I just loved it. Loved everything yeah. about it. Yeah. And you watch Rocky, and it's stupid. It's, it's so true. Yeah. Like, so many life lessons in boxing. Yeah. yeah, true, yeah. You're all humble. You've got nothing to prove to anyone. You just want to prove yourself, be, yeah. be the best you can be, and mm -hmm. and you meet so many great people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mo mo yeah. Some dodgy ones as well. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> on the whole, I've met some of the most amazing. Like, I've just come back from the World Cup gym with Freddie Roach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a Google of boxing. Yeah. But one of the most loveliest, humblest guys. I want to cry every time I speak to him. It's yeah. just too nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some guy is. Yeah, some trainer as well. Like people like you meeting Robert, Roberta Duran. You just don't want to look at him because you think, wow, yeah. it's just yeah, it's surreal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an insight, um, exciting journey. Where can we follow you on social media or stuff like that? Or? Yeah, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Harry yeah. Hunter Web. Um, yeah, um, you can at me, you know, social media if you ever want tickets and that. Yeah. Of course, through there. Um, but yeah, like I say, May 25th is the next one. West Supermare, Saturday night. Yeah. That's what we're going for next and another win coming up. Fantastic. Well, a great way to end the interview. Yeah. Thanks so much, Harry. Yeah.